Hello plant people. My name is Nora, also known as the Liquor Queen on Instagram. Thank you so very much for joining me on my channel today. Here we talk about all things indoor plants from semi-hydroponics to moss poles. So today I am going to be showing you how I make a round basic moss pole. And we are going to need four things. So we're going to need a mesh, metal mesh, we are going to need sphagnum moss, which is moist and has been um, dampened with growth technology Clonex clone solution or growth technology foliage focus. We are also going to need some cable ties and we will need a pair of scissors. So we're going to be making a basic round pole. So what you're going to need, so this one is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 14 squares wide. And that's just the length of the pole reel. And what we're gonna do is just sort of fold that, roll that to make a round shape. And we will get our damp moss and put our damp moss in the pole. So you want to put the moss in very lightly. You don't want to compact the moss in the pole because you want to make it easy for the roots um, to be able to penetrate the moss. So no heavy packing, people. Just a very light hand. And so that's the full length of the pole. So I will leave, you know, about a quarter or just slightly less than a quarter of that unfilled. And just sort of see, you know, it's a bit difficult for me to tell you put so many grams of moss or whatever. You're just gonna have to judge and see whether there's enough moss in there to make a nice round pore. So I think that is okay. So notice how my moss is actually not dripping. It's just moist. It's just moist. So I'm going to turn that over and I will overlap that's so I've got one, this is one there, one square and another square. So overlap that like that. And I will then grab my cable tie. So I like to make sure that I start from the top because then I know that when I'm attaching things, it's going to be nice and straight and my, my moss pole is not going to be wonky. So. so that is what that looks like. And then just put the rest of the cable ties along there at various intervals. So again, remembering that you're overlapping So that is what that looks like. Remember you've got that um, quarter of the length of that hanging out. So now you get your scissors and just chop off the redundant cable tie. What you could do is just turn the, the heads of the cable tie back into the moss so it doesn't cut up any of your leaves. So instead of having that over there, just flick it around so it's inside the moss. So that, flick it in so it's inside 
same thing with that. All right, so we've got our moss pole that is fairly, you know, light and round. You can put a bit more at the top. It doesn't really matter because our plant is quite small though, so it won't be going all the way to the top. So here we go. We've got our moss pole. It's round. There's no cable tie head sticking out at the back. And our plant is going to live on this side. And because I'm potting up this plant in leather, I've got that redundant bit of mesh at the bottom because I'm going to need that to pot up. But yeah, that's, that's our pole and it's all done. Too easy. Thank you so much for joining me. So yeah, that's it. That's our pole and it's all done. As long as you've got a cut up mesh, you can literally bang this out in five minutes and the more you do it, the quicker you'll be. And yeah, that's it. You've got your almost pole. You can make it big, you can make it small, you can make it flat, you can make it as wide as you want to make it and completely customize it to the plant that you're potting. So thank you very much for joining me. See you next time when I attach a plant to this pole and pot it up in lecker. See you then. Bye.